Hello everyone and welcome back to my Realism Overall series in Kerbal Space Program 1.1.3 and it looks like we're going to try this again. I don't want to fail those contracts so what we're going to do is we're going to try to land on the highlands of the moon and try to remember to stick around the moon for 20 hours. Uh, it looks like my modifications in terms of the ladders will only take 40 minutes for this craft but basically we've got these um, let me select them can I select them please this one it's not letting me select that one through oh it's from here um, okay retract ladder so it's going up like that and hopefully that'll take care of things and then a uh, tilted ladder like this because we had a sort of sideways problem last time and then the ladder going down and I made sure that that ladder going down doesn't clip things so yeah, maybe it'll work. Maybe we will risk some problems. Hopefully it'll be all right. So that's the idea though. And before I forget one other thing, let's check about the whole planting a flag on the moon part of it because it seems like we still haven't unlocked that yet due to my own neglect, no doubt. So we'll package this up Mmm, those are sort of po poking out there. That's not nice. I don't think that's gonna cause a problem because I think the ladders are sort of physicsless. Well, I think that's as tucked in as I can make it. Well, at least it's hidden. Okay, I think we'll take that. Everything looks proper. One hour and 35 minutes it says now. Okay. I don't think I need to make any other modifications, so we will save that and we will save edits. Now the whole planting a flag thing should be at the astronaut complex. Looks like it's gonna cost me a million to allow them to plant a flag. I mean right now we've got a capacity of 20 active Kerbals, which is plenty. So functionally this is just upgrading it so that they can plant flags. Well, okay, um, we're going to aim to not fail the mission, and we're going to aim to be able to plant a flag there. That's, that's my decision. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's going to take time to be able to plant flags, so we're not going to be able to plant a flag there this time. It's going to take 131 days. Well, shucks. Well, when we get to Mars, we'll be able to plant a flag. Okay, so that's the situation there. Uh, let's make sure that our edits are prioritized. And uh, we'll launch, and then we'll have to take care of the Venus probe, but that shouldn't take too long. And then we'll proceed with the rest of the mission. All right, here we go. We're lined up. We're sort of bouncing in the clamps, but, uh, well, persistence. Let's get on with it. So throttle is up, SAS is on, and everything seems to be all right. We've got locked tanks on the payload so that we don't have the problem that we had before with uh, fuel loss there. So that's why the Delta V is reading what it is. Actually, it's reading more Delta V than I would expect, but let's move on. Okay, ignition. launch. Joan and Alan Kerman are on their way. Okay, we're past the speed of sound, approaching max Q, everything seems to be alright. Last time I didn't throttle down, we can throttle down actually at this point. It's interesting with all these engines we don't actually get the wiggles. I noted the uh, wiggling problem on other rockets. Not a problem with this one. So it suggests that it's actually one of the joints up high such that the controller is actually the one that's wiggling. And it's not a fault of the engines. It's some joint that is causing the wiggle on the other rockets. 
We might be pushing uh, stuff beyond its burn time, though, if we keep going like this. Partial thrust. I hope the boosters are gonna run out soon. Let's keep it to 3 G's. Yeah, we lost one engine on the boosters. Looks like it's that one. Okay, set. Okay, all nine engines on this stage are fine, and we continue. 37 more seconds. Everything worked with this stage. Separation. And ignition. And we have good ignition of four engines. Escape system separation. Off it goes. This time I'll remember to keep the time to wap wap this a little bit high so that the next stage can avoid any issues. We should take a look to see if we can do the same thing we did last time and get a little. No, we can't. The moon is definitely not in a good position to continue using the third stage to boost up. It's in completely the wrong place this time. So, no luck there. We'll be a little bit shorter on the Delta V, but last time we had an obscene amount of extra Delta V, so... Someday we'll get the... Upgraded engines for the third stage, which have multiple ignitions. That would be nice. That'll save us a lot of trouble. Well, the second stage has certainly done its thing. Everything seems to be nominal. separation and ignition and on we go well we've had no problem with the normally troublesome NK series except for one engine loss on the first stage uh, on the boosters actually which leaves the RL-10s, and this time we're not going to have the extra boost provided by this stage to help us out with that. Well, we're going to leave that there. 290 by 217. A little bit high on the Apoapsis side, but not bad. Extra thousand meters per second left in there. Alright, separation. We can't keep the Saturn instrumentation unit hanging around, it'll take too much electric charge. So, that's another factor. We would probably have to have some way of generating power if we wanted to relight those engines once we get that upgrade. Alright, time to plot for the moon. Alright, well our trip to the moon is going to take a little bit longer this time, and I guess it's because the moon is in the part of its orbit that is further away. I don't see any other explanation, I'll put it that way. Uh, so it'll take three and a half days to get there. So we are now turning towards the node. And I forgot to add extra oxygen, so that's not so good. CO2 scrubber is on right now. I mean, we do have 11 days of oxygen. And in theory, the mission should only take uh, nine days. 
Last mission was only eight days. I don't know how we got so short on oxygen. I must have failed to move it from one of the other stages into the capsule or something. Stage time is seven minutes and 50 seconds. So we should probably start out at about T minus five minutes and that'll be about right. Okay, here we are, thrall up. And ignition. Okay, we are on our way to the moon again. Well, we've had a bit of a performance loss from one of the engines, but we're still just running all of them. This one, uh, it's just uh, loss of thrust and not specific impulse, so that's alright. Okay, everything seems to be good. We'll need 171 meters per second from the next bit, which should be doable, so yeah. Let's shut down so that the RCS thrusters don't keep burning. Separate. Throttle up. Unlock fuels and ignition. Oh, bit of hesitancy there. Okay, let's see what's really going on here. Let's get rid of that. Hmm, maybe we will need a boost from our main engines at this rate. Uh, that was enough. Okay, we sort of have a moon periapsis, though it's, as usual, reluctant to agree with me. Three days and 14 hours. Okay, well, I guess the only thing to do is to orient with respect to the sun so we don't have to use our, uh, whatchamacallit, fuel cells. And of course, inform persistent rotation. Nope, persistent rotation that we would like to stick around here. Wow, the liquid hydrogen is really boiling off this time. Those tanks I must have added to the other, to the um, return stage, and also the making orbit around the moon stage, must not be properly insulated or something. Okay, we are approaching the moon. We have a low periapsis, so I'm lifting it up. And we have a we have, well, we have an inclination of some sort. I don't know if it's the best inclination to hit some highlands, but we will pay attention to that this time. And also the we'll finish up the contract uh, that says we have to stick around the moon for 20 hours first, and we'll hunt for good locations to land during that time and only after that will we will we finally make the landing oh, we are approaching the moon and we just got an alarm we have to go to our Venus mission which has just entered Venus SOI okay well um, you guys uh, hang on here and uh, we'll be back with you in a sec Okay, we have a signal delay of more than two minutes. And of course we have no fuel, so we just have to do the science while it's still in the SOI and that'll be that. Mm, I think I might need to restart the program. Oh, it's, it's uh, not got the encounter yet. Uh, all right. The closest we're gonna get is still not particularly close. So it's going to be high over no matter what we do. Let's see. Log magnetometer data. Log visual observations. Do the bio sample. Make sure to do the bio sample. Um, once again, I'm going to have trouble accessing these things. Well, record perturbation data. If you get really up close and personal with them, they finally decide to highlight. 
log temperature. Somebody told me that in the comments. Okay, well, we already did the magnetometer over Venus. We've already done the visual observations. So that's a shame. Gravity scan we've done. Micrometeorite we've done. Geiger counter we have not done, so we can transmit that back. Temperature scan we've done. It's not looking good for the productivity of this mission. How about the biosample? We have not done the biosample, but it's only 10 signs to transmit it, unfortunately. We will transmit it. And that's that for this one. Okay, so after this finishes transmitting, we'll go back to our lunar mission already in progress. Okay, we are currently in the process of making orbit. I haven't seen any indication of highlands just yet. We've had lunar seas, major craters, midlands, and stuff like that. But not so much highlands. So we'll have to hope. Okay, shut down. 82 by 39. A little bit low on the periapsis there. And we should probably start the fuel cells now. It's about time we use those. Especially for the nighttime side of the moon. And I had locked these little guys so we can unlock those containers with the... Well, even though I locked the hydrogen and oxygen here, uh, some of it's depleted because of boil-off. So yeah, pretty bad boil off on these two tanks. Not so much on the other hydrogen oxygen tanks, so I must have just misconfigured those two down there. Okay, but now we will... Uh, actually, we might need to boost up our periapsis in order to fulfill the orbit mission. No, it's 20 kilometers that it wants as the minimum periapsis, so it's fine. It started the timer, so I'm going to time more for uh, 20 hours so that we complete that, making sure that we don't deplete our electric charge unnecessarily. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have completed the orbital requirements, so we've spent 20 hours in orbit, and it looks like MechJab allows, uh, shows you what biome it is if you hover the cursor over it when trying to pick a target on the map using landing guidance. So I've done that, and I've picked a target that says Highlands. But just to give you an idea, I'm going to go through the pick a target thing again. And it's really hard to find around here. I mean, the, the little spots that are Highlands, like that one, this one there. But if I wanted one in daylight, which would be nice... Let me see if I can get one. I, I've been... I picked that target when uh, it was in a different location anyway. Uh, we want one obviously close to our orbit so we don't have to deviate too much. But you can see mostly over here it was Midlands and Lowlands. And I don't think I've put uh, lights on the bottom so I'll be trying to land blind, except I could turn ambient light adjustment up, I suppose. But yeah, all this stuff is lowlands and midlands over here. The only way we get highlands is in the dark. Convenient, right? Well, we can choose between the highlands down here and the highlands up here. This one seems closer to our current orbit, so... but. You can see only a little bit off and we're no longer on the highlands. Is, are these highlands bigger down here? Doesn't seem so. I suppose we could just start immediately. I mean we are fairly low already. Yeah we might as well start the whole landing procedure right now. Okay so that's there but we have to remember to extend antennae. Mm, if I show landing predictions, it blocks this, but hey, every bit of information will help as long as it doesn't overdo things. Okay, right, decouple. 
Okay, double check that that's still in communication. Yes, it is. Landing gear down. All right. I believe this is the way I want to go. Why is it reading my Delta V so low? Oh, that might be a problem. Okay. Precision landing on the moon. Good times. I think we can go for a bit first. Well, it's very indecisive about whether I'm going to hit Highlands or not. Just a little bit off, and it's not Highlands anymore. I wonder who drew these biomes. I'm sure it was very meticulous. Yeah, look at that. It's moving back and forth there between Midlands and Highlands. That makes me think that the Highland is sort of like a peak. That doesn't make me feel at all good about the slope that we might be hitting. Well, at least it, it isn't really blind. The map is blind. Looking at the map, it's impossible to see what's going on, but out here it isn't. Well, I'd be a happy camper if we could land really close to the target I outlined, and now we're, we've got a target difference of 300 meters. That's nice. Uh, I don't gather that that's going to be consistent. Yeah, look at that. Changes very wildly. We're still over Midlands. So, whatever our landing spot, it's not right here. I think I need to shut off the engine for a bit. I'm gonna waste a lot of Delta V like this. Right now it says target difference 500 meters or so. We're aiming for the highlands. Let's get a read on the suicide burn countdown. 53 seconds, okay. Still says Midlands right now. This looks very perilous. And it still says Midlands on the landing thing. Landing guidance says islands, but the landing, you know, where we're landing at, we're over Midlands right now. I don't get it. Well, we're gonna hover a little bit, I guess. Okay, it says Lunar Seas now on our landing location. Uh, okay, we're Highlands now. Okay. Now well, let's cut out the horizontal component so that we don't drift away from the highlands. We're not uh, replete with the Delta V here. And the slope is daunting. boy. Okay, we've set down. Whew. Wow, that was tough. And we are on Highlands. Are we all agreed? Landed. Exploring. Two days and 12 hours? Oh. I didn't... No, uh, again, I missed the part where we have to be exploring for two days and 12 hours. Okay, well, we're running our fuel cells. We're currently on the dark side of the moon, though. 
so I don't know how long our electric charge is going to hold out. Apparently nobody knows. Well, Tag Lesport thinks it's infinity, but I somehow doubt that. How long until... No, well, this is right in the middle of the nighttime side. Well, not right in the middle. I don't think it's safe to time warp for two days just sitting here. I don't know. I'm not going to bring them out just yet. I'm going to lose electric charge like this. Uh, guys... I so I, I went to the space center to time warp and when I came back it decided to flip on me. It it totally decided to just flip on me. And it reset the timer for exploring too. Hold on. Alt F4. Oh, ah! No! No, 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 ah! Okay. I, I hope you saw that. And so no matter what I do, when I load in, it wants to tip it sideways. It, it, it doesn't pop into the air normally, you know, it doesn't go straight up and then go sideways by flipping. No, it actually turns sideways in midair and then falls down. Like the game is plotting to make sure that it ends up looking like this. And that's no matter what I do. So that sucks. That's, that's not nice. That's very mean of the game. And again, reset the exploring timer. Well, we're here now. And this ain't great. Hey, Alan, why don't you EVA for me? I don't think you have to worry about... No, I don't know. Tough to say whether you have to worry about getting back in again. Let's extend all the ladders just in case. But the ladders aren't going to necessarily help okay so well um EVA report oh uh, it's actually counted from here as okay keep experiment take surface sample we apparently can take a surface sample right now even from the pod this is complicated and confusing Okay, well, we got some extra science. The question is, can we bring them back again? Rather than go to the space center, I don't know, maybe you'd toss it up and put it upright again. Hmm. I mean, we could lose another solar panel. Yeah, well, let's see. Space center. Unfortunately, the... Um, Lunar Gemini landing engines don't have gimbling, which makes things harder. If we gotta try the same trick that we did with the Asterisk engines to get it back up again, the Lunar, lunar Gemini lander engines aren't going to be able to hold the pod as well as the Asterisk engines would have. No, no, it doesn't care to set upright again. That's not part of its plan. Okay. Well, uh, let me actually time warp from the orbiter portion of the mission. We won't go back to the space center for that. Or maybe the space center will be fine. Well, we're turning back to them. They've been there for more than two days and 12 hours. I'm a little bit worried about their oxygen situation. But more worried about the the fact that they're horizontal. RAM usage is off the charts for this particular install. 9.3 gigabytes? 
It never uses 9.3 gigabytes. I swear there's some weirdness going on. Okay, well, let's toss it up again. And restart the timer. There's no way to fulfill it if every time it loads physics, it's gonna toss this thing up. So we've risked uh, the oxygen situation causing a problem for nothing. And also, you know, the obvious fact that they're not oriented properly. Going to turn off the top ones, right? But keep them out like that. So that's off. That's off. Maybe that'll be enough. F5. Okay, well. Here goes. Oh, maybe I should pump the fuel down like before. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Uh, things are blowing up. Everything blew up. Oh, okay. Everything blew up except for the capsule. You know what? I think uh, maybe I need to take a break. And we'll come back to this in the next episode. So, I've got the quick save. We'll take it from there. I'll try to rescue them. But I think... I don't know if the moon is going to let me rescue them because the Lunar Gemini Islander engines don't have gimbling. It's going to be tough with this slope too. Maybe if we turn it a particular way on the slope. But yeah. Yep, yep I'm sorely disappointed that I've been defeated by a physics glitch. And I'll need to cool off from this. So, on that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.